everyone. Welcome back to Growing with Riley's. I'm Trevin. Okay, so today we are talking tomatoes. Yeah, I want to share one special story about one tomato that I think you guys will find pretty interesting. Like I said, we are here showcasing our tomatoes where we you can see how many we are growing. We've got cherry tomatoes. We've got large slicing tomatoes. We've got small medium Roma and San Marzano tomatoes as well. But today I want to highlight one special tomato. All right, this tomato here is called the giant crimson tomato or also better known as the 87 year old tomato. If you love fun heirloom type stories about tomatoes, this is one of those tomatoes that you gotta have in your garden. Yeah, so the story started last year when I had all these older tomato seeds. I wasn't quite sure if they would sprout, if I could grow them. Um, I wasn't sure what to do, so I did what any normal person would do. I Googled it. And lo and behold, I came across the story from the M.I. Gardener. To get the full story, I would definitely go back to his channel, check out, he's got multitudes of stories on how he got this and how he raised it. I'm gonna give you the shortened version and just kinda how it impacted us in this whole process. <clears throat> so years back, him, he had been looking for some just rare seeds out there. He grows, he sells a lot of heirloom type variety seeds, which are seeds that can be saved, reused, passed down from generation. And so he said that he had stumbled across this, there were four different seeds in this shadow box that had been kept in storage for, in a dark storage for years. And uh, when he got it, he realized that the seeds were from the 1930s. And there was a particular seed in there, this tomato seed, called the giant crimson tomato. You may be thinking it's just a tomato, whatever. It turns out this tomato hasn't been around since the 1930s. He could go, I, I believe he may have maybe mentioned something on, he may have mentioned something where, where it may, the last known um, existence of it may have been the 50s. You're gonna check that out for yourself. That's how I remember it. I could be wrong. All that being said, he wanted to see if he could sprout these seeds, this extinct tomato variety. Yeah, so what he ended up doing, he did, uh, he made sure that some, some of the conditions were right, he put it in a certain solution and tried sprouting. There's like 150 of these seeds. The probabilities are crazy low. He got two of them to sprout. Turns out one of them ended up dying later on. He was able to keep one. And over the years, he had kept propagating and growing these seeds, or growing these tomatoes to save the seed to be able to sell to his customers. So I was super excited. I went right to his, his uh, website because I, I was just captivated by the story. I had to have some of these seeds, right? They were sold out at the time. I'm assuming he was waiting to, to get some more uh, propagated and ready to sell. And they had very, very limited volume. And I was notified by an email that they were in. So I, I, I bought them up right away and I started growing them, but, but lo and behold, I found out that that was the actual first year he was selling these seeds. These giant crimson tomatoes, these 87-year-old tomatoes, I got to be one of the first ones to help regenerate and help repopulate this variety back into the world. How cool is that? So funny thing is, so they're called a giant crimson tomato. They're not that giant, I'm just gonna let you know. They're about a medium-sized variety, maybe in the 30s. They didn't have that big of, uh, maybe Giant wasn't as big as what we think of today. So, is what it is. Super cool story. I just love the story of it. I'm, and so, that's what I wanted to share with you today. These are uh, an indeterminate type tomato. They will vine. Um, they have no ending point until the frost gets them, they die off, whatever the case is. So. Uh, they'll just keep growing as long as the conditions are right. Yeah, and you can also see they're producing a good amount of fruit. Yeah, so we want to take you inside. We have picked a bunch of tomatoes this year already. So we've got a bunch of tomatoes sitting inside. We want to show you what they look like 
We'll give it a taste test. One of my oldest son loves tomatoes, so we'll throw some salt and pepper on it, eat it up. He'll give you a review on what he thinks of it. So let's go. All right, so here we are in the house. Like I said, we have a bunch of these tomatoes um, already picked. Like I said, they're not, typically they're not big. They're fairly medium sized. Uh, again, we were from the 1930s, so giant must have been a little bit smaller. And so that's okay. Um, Winston and I are gonna do a little taste test action going on, see what we think about them. How do we like our tomatoes? Salt and pepper. Sliced up salt and pepper all the way. Okay. Do you want them like long slice? Yeah, Thick, yeah, flat slice. slice? Very meaty tomato. They got a good uh, flesh. Good flesh there. All right, Winston, do the, uh, let me do one more here. And I'm gonna have you do the honors. Salt and pepper. All right. Cheers, giant crimson. <laughs> what do you think? I'll let you finish. <laughs> Do you want to try one? No. Okay. Too big of a bite. Too big of a bite? Yeah. It, um, it's, like, it's, like, soft, so, like, it comes apart easily. Mm -hmm. It's, like, a tart-ish to it. Mm -hmm. like Would you describe it as a good old-fashioned tomato? Yes, I would. It's like a tomato right out of the 1930s. All right, everyone, so there you have it. That is our story of the giant crimson tomato. I hope you all found that interesting and just seeing like the importance of, you know, how fun it is to keep history alive. And uh, in one way, I know this sounds cheesy, but it's almost like we eating this, it's like we're taking a step back in time. And uh, yeah, super fun. Anyone out there growing something pretty interesting that, uh, um, you want to let me know about, drop them in the comments below. So, uh, again, thanks for joining and we will see you next time.